All right, Stockbuster fans, it's been a long time coming, but we're finally going to finish it. Schoolgirl Report 13, the final one. Let's check it out. The kids are practicing Shakespeare. My young friends, the balcony scene is the most outstanding love scene written for the stage. What does love mean to you? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't oh, die for it the way, Julian. Where's the play, Mr. Birch? Let's listen to Peter's story. He could give us a fresh slant, a new way of looking at a play. So Peter's the teacher story. doesn't think that well, they really understand Shakespeare, Romeo, and Juliet, so they're going to tell stories. There's a dead body. Exact position of the body. It's all right. And here's a possible witness, Irina. First, tell me why you came here to visit this Mr. Link. He's a blackmailer. He's blackmailing you for money? No, he forced me into sex. Stealing? Her friends are shoplifters and they no, encourage her to do the same. Of course not. It's only for fun, just to see if you can get away with it. We only steal from big stores and supermarkets. They can afford it. So she decides to do the same thing. Stealing a pair of black panties. Hey, you. Come with me into my office. Turns out he's a perv. Put them on. I don't really want to call the police. She will comply. The skirt Later on, he makes her come back and strip for her. Come on, honey. Strip for him. Off. Her blouse. He wanted me to come every afternoon the rest of the week. You were eight, I was thirteen. Here's a boyfriend when we know. first met each other. I've loved you ever since, and I think you've loved me too. I want to know that for sure. She rejects him. I think she's having uh, flashbacks to the other dude. Everything was spoiled now. I would have to tell him what I'd done, while I was no longer a virgin. So on this day, she came to visit him like hey, always. I want it right now. And found him dead. Ah! But at the time, didn't have the courage. Nino shows up. Here. He did it. This is the knife I used. Take it. Should we have him seduced? Five macho Both guys make a bet. Bridget Bardot. Liza Minnelli. Hey, let's get serious, guys. That their friend can score girl, with this one chick know. named Joan. Do you know that girl? Which one? Seduce me, he's out of his mind. He bet them he could do it in less than one week, I found out from Ludwig. He swore me to secrecy, you know. And after that, you rushed right over to tell me? She admits that I she knows the whole bet. Ron, don't leave. I want you to drive me wild with desire. I've already written an affidavit. Swearing that the panties I've given you are mine. This was with her grandmother, and her grandmother interrupted them. But that was part of the plan. He's hiding outside naked You're with almost too late. grandma's Another panties. Few seconds and he would have had me. So standing outside naked with no other choice, he puts on grandma's bloomers. Although he thinks they're Joan's bloomers. story involves an alcoholic Behind student us, they're afraid you'll give me a bottle named Derry. of course i wouldn't i want you to get well i can live without alcohol you know they say i can't but drinking isn't really a problem from india you know we see Derry's story played out this is her cousin steven he's been living there the past several years cousin mind steven. you cousin Baby, you've grown up i would never have known you i want to take a so picture so steven and daily become some sort of so couple even though they're cousins cousins Lovely. he came to see us often Sometimes he'd take me out. We went to the best restaurants and clubs. I wanted to see you. The day before he leaves, she decides she's going to screw him, lose her virginity to him. What are you waiting for? Yes, but... And he's maybe, all for it. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'll take care of that. Sex, didn't you? You prick teaser. No! <laughs> Grow up, Danny. I haven't wasted all my time on you these last few weeks for nothing. Understand? You owe me something. <laughs> It does occur. It was degrading. He 
use me like an old rat. Steve. That drives her to the bottle, and Mama's mad. I can't stand it. My daughter a drunk. Mother, you had no right to throw out that bottle. I have a right to maintain certain standards in my own home. Then we fast forward a little bit. Danny is attending a party to her friend Warner, who has a crush on her. You'll feel better when we're alone together, won't you? Naked, but nothing occurs. It's you. You're frigid. A loser. That's when I started drinking again. She resorts to prostitution to get alcohol. I'd do anything to get enough money just to buy a bottle. Prostitution turns out not to be too nice, though. Fast forward to our next story where three girls want to buy condoms so they can have Did sex. You get them? Well, not quite yet. What on earth do you mean? What's in the bag? They have trouble attaining them, though, believe it or not. They decide to go into the men's bathroom where they can find a machine. Extra strong protection. But even that fails because uh, some guy goes in to pee. And they never get a free free moment to actually obtain those. Anyway, two of the chicks run off with their boyfriends to a hayloft, leaving the uh, kind of homelier chick all by herself. What are you doing here? I'm not doing anything. That's a pretty name. Well, this guy takes a fancy to, to her. And then she I'm likes saying it. saying it's a naked boy. What's so special about him? Shut up. It's been a long time since I've seen that. That beats all. First you call him a mug, and then you get far excited. And she's the only one who got laid. And I like it. Mm. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yet on second thought, something as bad happened to me one time. Unless it filmed in kindergarten now. That's right, but there's a difference between theory and practice. That's what makes it so ridiculous and funny. Why have sex education in school? You tell me. Our last story one of the guys tells. All the same. It happened last summer. I was going with Ingrid. She's quite a girl. Very cooperative. Or something? He's got an old girlfriend, Claudia, coming to town. Hey, Walter, don't make such a big thing of it. I do the same for you, buddy. He wants his buddy to help him by taking his current girlfriend out for a while. So here's Claudia, while his friend is going to be hanging out with Ingrid. And there's Ingrid and his buddy. Hey, stop it! Might be. I don't think you're telling the truth about her and Mike. I'll bet Mike asked you to cover for him. You'd do anything for your friend Mike, wouldn't you? What a surprise meeting you! They all meet each other. I'm not even sure how he's trying to pull this off. Of course. This is Ingrid. Ingrid's an old friend. From school. From school? Mon chéri? The girls do not get along. Michael and Ingrid. Well, what do you think of that? You'll find out. Ingrid and Claudia end up fighting in a pond. It looks like there are going to be two couples now, but not the original couples. You deserve a punch in the nose. But on second thought, maybe I better thank you for making it possible for me to be with Ingrid, who is now my fiance. Any story that ends with a wedding has to be old fashioned. And when it's a double wedding, it's twice as old fashioned. That's our movie. All right, well, there you have it. School Girl Report 13, otherwise known as Sweet Young Trouble. Sweet Young Trouble was actually a videotape put out by private screenings with an Americanized title. Americanized uh, actors and actresses, at least their names, on the screen. But it is the same movie as School Girl Report 13. And that's why I have an English soundtrack. And that's why the quality of the picture wasn't as great, because I burned a DVD-R of that, um, as opposed to watching the uh, German version with subtitles. So there you go. Anyway, um... Uh, 
This one came out in 1980, 10 years after the original one, uh, and um, it still kind of follows the same plot. And this time, we have a, a school, a high school, I guess, uh, putting on the play of Romeo and Juliet. The uh, uh, professor, teacher, whatever, he doesn't think the kids really understand the play or what love is. And then they have discussions about it. Well, can you have love without sex? Can you have sex without love? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then they start telling stories uh, of things they read about, things they've experienced, or people they know, and then we see those story played out. Uh, the first story uh, was that girl who was uh, getting blackmailed because she shoplifted some black panties. Um, she got blackmailed by the store owner to have sex with him constantly. Uh, once she told her boyfriend about it, her boyfriend ended up killing the guy. Uh, the second story, uh, what was that one about? That wasn't the alcoholic. Uh, second story, uh, uh, oh yeah, the guys on the playground making a bet to see if one of them can score with this girl named Joan. He gets tricked into wearing these granny panties and gets humiliated. Although, big deal. Uh, the third story was uh, Dany, or was it Daly? Dany. Dany, the uh, alcoholic girl with the pixie haircut. Kind of reminded me of Tasha Yar a little bit. Um, and that one didn't really end very well. She ended up getting a prostitution, going to a mental ward of some sort. Uh, the fourth story... Da, 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 da. What was the fourth story? Oh, yeah, the three girls who want to have sex for the first time, and uh, they put it upon themselves to get the condoms. They can't find them for whatever reason. They can never get a hold of them. Uh, they all end up do, or they're trying to have sex, but uh, the chubbier girl doesn't have anybody, uh, but she is the only one who ends up, ends up having actual sex. The other two couples do not. Um, and then the fifth and final story was that guy um, who had, there was some sort of love triangle, he uh, was with this girl named Ingrid, uh, but then his old girlfriend, Claudia, was going to come into town, so he wanted his buddy to hang out with Ingrid for a couple of weeks. Uh, I don't know what the hell the plan was, but ultimately, the buddy ends up with Ingrid, and the, uh, the guy ends up with Claudia, and they both get married at the end of the movie. End of story. So anyway, that is Schoolgirl Report 13. Uh, tons of nudity in this one, as usual, full frontal nudity. There may have been some ball. I think I saw some balls and some wieners in this movie, too. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, I always like to say the Germans knew how to make some good 70s softcore stuff, but this one was actually 80s, 1980 this one came out, so end of an era, right? I think they should make another Schoolgirl Report movie, a modernized version. Maybe I, I could do that someday if I had the funds. That'd be kind of fun, actually. Um, I could put myself as the pervy old man. Oh, it'd be great. Of course, all the schoolgirls are actually, you know, in their late 20s and such, but whatever, right? I'll take it. Anyway, that's it. Uh, the subtitle here is Don't Forget Love During Sex. And, um, yeah, you can't go wrong with these things. Uh, they only make these movies to titillate you, and in, in that respect, they work. So what are you going to do, right? So, anyway, that is Schoolgirl Report 13. I will leave a link down below if you're looking for it on Amazon. I'm curious if anybody else has seen any of these other 13 movies. Have you seen the English version, Sweet Young Trouble, the one I just showed you? Um, if you want to try to track these down, Synapse put these out. or Actually, the Synapse are Impulse Pictures, which I think is part of Synapse. I can't even remember anymore. But, uh, anyway... Um, these things are getting a little bit pricey. They're like 25 to 40 bucks now or in that range if you're looking for them. So um, if you want to get them all, you're going to, have to pay a few hundred dollars to get them all. So I'm thankful that I have them all and I don't have to buy these things anymore. Ridiculous films, but for what they are, they're kind of fun. So check it out. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about Schoolgirl Report 13. Watch it. Bye.